people need to realise that for every tree we plant at the moment, we're chopping down two. So <laughs> we're chopping down trees at twice the rate we're planting them, but somehow we're kidding ourselves that by planting trees. So here in New Zealand, we do it. We we count our emissions for the year, and it's 76, uh, 76 million tonnes. You know, I'm just this is just off the top of my head. And about 20% of that, we just say, oh, we don't have to worry about that because we've planted trees that will capture carbon equivalent to about 20% of that amount. So therefore, we talk about net emissions. So we magically wipe out 20% of our emissions by claiming that it's been taken up by trees. And trees do take up carbon. I'm not disputing that at all. And, and a carbon atom now, in this current cycle, is identical to a carbon atom in, in history, but that's where the similarity ends because we have to understand that the current, at any given point in time, we have a, a carbon cycle with sources and sinks, with carbon moving through different sources and sinks through natural processes, and they're in a dynamic equilibrium. So the sources match the sinks and, you know, at any given chunk of time, that's, that's constant. So we can't, so, we, so what we're doing, but then when we found fossil fuels, we started taking carbon from that was sequestered in carbon cycles more than 65 million years ago. So releasing them in the current carbon cycle is, is additional carbon. It's not part of the carbon cycle. It's not part of that equilibrium. It's, it's, it's a new carbon that, you know, realistically a new carbon. And so the idea that this new carbon can be so, so if we plant all the trees back again, or plant a tree, all we're doing is replacing the carbon that was lost when that tree was chopped down. We'll plant a forest that, you know, all of that area was forested. So all we're doing is putting back. So a huge amount of the carbon that's been added to the atmosphere has come from land use change, from chopping down trees. And so, yes, we need to replant these trees. We do. But... That's not offsetting fossil carbon. It's offsetting the carbon that was lost when we chopped those trees down. So we plant all the trees, put all the carbon back in the soil and all that. Imagine we, if we tried, if we did that, that would be great. That would take us back to zero, to balance again. It hasn't accounted for one gram of that fossil carbon that we released. So that's what I mean by it. I, I hope people can get that. That's kind of... That's how delusional we are. We, we, we think that by planting a tree that captures carbon. But yes, it does. But, but it captures the carbon from the tree that was chopped down, not the, the historic stuff. And, and that whole emissions trading scheme is based on that same delusion where we delude ourselves that we can offset or mitigate fossil carbon by, you know, by, pl by planting trees or building renewable or whatever it is that we've, and in many cases, it's just a promise not to chop down a forest that we were going to chop down. You know, so these things are so bizarre. But, but uh, that would be bad enough if it was just that we were deluding ourselves and, and we're silly. But, but it's worse than that because what happens is that we justify burning more fossils. You know, we justify the flight to London by saying, oh, we'll plant some trees, when they do not do that. So all it does is encourage us to burn more. The delusion is bad enough, but the delusion that... So so I talk about dangerous trees. Trees are great. Any tree is a good thing. The dangerous tree is one that we plant under the illusion that, that it's... Uh, it's going to take away the impact of the fossil carbon that we're releasing. So it's it's just, you know, we have to grow. Like, I just feel like we have to grow up. But what we're doing is just acting like teenagers at the moment. And and, and and we need to, somebody needs to give us a slap around the ears and tell us to grow up and, and face this reality and stop kidding ourselves about it.